Tonight we are learning new information about the state of the Breonna Taylor investigation after the family and their attorneys met today with Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron. Cameron told them his office is still waiting for ballistics results and lab testing by the FBI. They also revealed they still need to re-interview witnesses from the Metro Police investigation. But as tonight, Gabor Gagadis tells us there's still no timeline on a final decision. He does have a heart. <laughs> Taylor's aunt Bianca Austin says her family left the meeting with a little more hope and understanding. Instead of seeing them, you know, on a TV screen, it was it felt more genuine and personable. So really just offered us and just uh, let us know that you know, he understands our pain. It was the first time they met Attorney General Daniel Cameron, who was appointed special prosecutor in Taylor's case back in May. During the meeting, Cameron expressed his condolences. In a statement, his office said in part, quote, the investigation is ongoing and we will continue to review the facts to determine the truth. Cameron didn't provide the family with a timeline on his decision, but he did reveal new information as to what's causing the delay. Along with waiting for the FBI's ballistics results and lab testing, attorney Sam Aguiar, who's representing Taylor's family, told WHS 11, Daniel Cameron said he still needs to re-interview witnesses. These ballistics and labs are important, and we understand the delay and the, the need for them. But it's frustrating that the police basically wasted two months investigating themselves in what was clearly a one-sided manner. And had the case been turned over right away for this independent investigation like it should have, then the testing would be completed and we wouldn't be needing to wait for re-interviews right now where these officers actually get asked what they should have been asked to begin with. But Aguiar says he will remain confident that the Attorney General and the Department of Justice will do the right thing. Do you accept what he told you? Are you guys willing to wait longer after listening to what he was saying today? You know, we've been waiting five months and, you know, if we have, you know, uh, we're willing to wait to make sure that this is done the right way. By the end of the meeting, Daniel Cameron promised the family they will be the first to know of his decision in Taylor's case before he shares it publicly. For WHS 11, I'm Sunay Gavrigadigas.